Alice. It's time to educate, here to communicate. Yes, it's our health at stake. My friends, don't be blinded. Oh no. They're taking over the land. It's time we make our stand. It's time you know about companies like Monsanto. Oh no. Oh no. Polluting with chemical spray, poisoning waters day after day. Kamehameha school said they could stay because they pay. Awe. Awe. Now look at the long term effect when it's the land you neglect. The Ahupuwa's been a wreck and you're looking for your paycheck. Where's the respect? Where's the respect? Let's put our faith in the natural way. Forget the chemicals and your pesticide spray. Educate yourself for the children of today. Food grown organic and pure will always be the number one cure. You'll all be grateful when you say no to GM. The GMO, gotta say no to genetically oh, modified organism. Well, we don't need no genetically modified organisms. My friends gotta say no to GMO. Oh yeah, to GMO. Now listen. Well, you may be asking yourself, how does this affect my health? Most people eating GMO and they don't even know. Oh no, oh no. Monsanto's the same company using Roundup, Agent Orange, and PCB. Their products causing cancer, my friends, they're not the answer. Not the answer. Now, what are the steps we take to help to correct this mistake? First thing we can do is tell them, label our food. Don't be so rude, don't be so rude. The next thing we could do, tell Kamehameha School. Remember Kanaka, my only Hawaiian sovereignty. Set the people free, set the people free. Let's put our faith in the natural way. Forget your chemicals and your pesticide spray. Educate yourself for the children of today. Food grown organic and pure will always be the number one cure. You'll all be grateful when you say no to GMO. Gotta say no to GMO. Tell you what it stands for. Genetically modified organisms. My friend, I don't want to be no. Genetically modified organisms. Now Monsanto and other big name corporations are planning to take over the food and seed crop production so that all crops will be genetically modified. But in Hawaii, there is something that we can do about this. We must continually encourage Kamehameha schools to evict Monsanto from the land because they are polluting the land and poisoning the people. We must ask ourselves, everybody, do we really want to be a genetically oh, modified? Oh, ho, ho, I got news Promoting local organic food from the heart, from the soul, with love. Aloha. So this is my grandmother's land. When I was given the opportunity to come and live here, as I started discovering that I wanted to grow food, I was like, you know, we don't need acres and acres of land. We can do it in our backyard. It's really mind-blowing at what's being done to the food and something 
called GMOs, genetically modified organisms, come into the picture. And without people really knowing what the long-term effects are, they put it into our food supply and most people are eating that nowadays and they don't even know it. It goes deep into corporations like Monsanto who have done horrible things um, in the war. They were responsible for spraying Agent Orange which has caused thousands upon thousands of birth defects and deaths and cancers. And this is the same company who's mass producing genetically modified organisms. Just the connection there kind of says something. They don't actually know what they're doing in the long run. And now studies are coming out to find that, you know, this is creating tumors, this is creating cancer, and we're seeing a huge rise in all kinds of health issues. When it comes to Monsanto and these big name companies, they are monetarily like overflowing with money and they are able to give some of this money to politicians. Um, they're even giving money, millions of dollars, against the labeling of genetically modified organisms in our food. Why do they not want us to know what's in the food? Um, these are questions that right now we're discovering the answer to because it's making us sick. It's not helping us. And a lot of people aren't aware of this. And the evidence is slowly starting to come out. Monsanto is such a big name, and they have this money and they're able to buy up this private owned land. Kamehameha Schools, who's so well respected in this community as holding stand to Hawaiian beliefs, is leasing a big part of their land to Monsanto. So Kamehameha Schools is Hawaii's largest private land owner. They lease substantial amounts of land to multinational biotech firms like Monsanto, Dow, DuPont, Pioneer for GMO open field tests and seed corn production. And a lot of the seed is being exported, it's not even staying in Hawaii. It's important that the community knows that Kamehameha Schools is contributing to the pollution to the land and the people by leasing to these companies. If we can encourage them to invict Monsanto, Kamehameha Schools has enough land, capital, and resources that they could help restore the Ahupua'a system, which was the perfect example of resilient, sustainable practices for water and land management for the indigenous Hawaiian culture. And they would have a huge impact on restoring Hawaii's food security and could greatly reduce our need for imported foods. Everybody's involved now. There's no, just the Hawaiians are gonna take care of this land. This is everybody now. That's just what the situation has come to. So our kuleana is to truly look at this land, respect it, and see the most optimal growth. So when you have that situation, you can't help but observe and want to do something about it. And as a musician, and as someone who has a voice and is a farmer, is a have my own organic gardens growing around my home, I know that it's possible to grow your own organic food and feed yourself from your land, no matter where your land is. If we have water, if we have the right soil, if we have the right resources, and the right attention that we can give the garden, we can truly see a blossoming. And as a witness to that, we can continue to flourish as a community in helping each other, enriching each other, in bringing in energy that isn't foreign to Hawaii. This is something that's deep in the soil, deep in the roots of what Hawaii is about. It just needs to be resurfaced and really respected once again. It's nice to have that at different parts of the yard. Um, so three different sweet potato patches rotating. I was giving one clipping of kalo and then I ended up planting it in the backyard and now it, it's just spread out and I just harvested this whole area. And there's so many keikis that come off the side of them. So if you just look down in to see what's going on underneath the canopy. A few guys you could separate out there, give them to your friends. Mountain apple, I just kind of give them a little area. The mountain apple will grow. Volunteer papaya. Sometimes things just pop up and they end up being what you need there. You need to know what pests 
are going to come your way, prevent them from really wreaking havoc on your crop. So rotating is definitely a big part of it, as well as a lot of attention. It's all, an ex it's all experiment, you know, it's like allow yourself to just witness the growth. You, you're just the one planting the seed. And if you can keep them happy, keep them watered, then you're doing your job as a farmer. And everything in the ground will feel that and appreciate it and give you some goodies. You know that the nutrients, the water, the soil, everything from there is going to go straight into your body. So your connection to the land is that much more intensified. To be a farmer takes time and energy and work and it is not for everybody. But to do small scale farming at your home, just being a gardener, to be in touch with the land, the richness that it brings in your heart is priceless and to be eating food from your garden um, you know exactly where it came from you planted that seed to know that is something that can't be explained or taught it's something that has to be it's have something that has to be done this land right here was just weeds this was all weeds up to here people would throw their trash in it <laughs> I was all, finally to the point like you know, I can do something about it. And when you take the time to do it, right now I have papayas, I got an avocado tree, there's sugar cane, three different types of bananas, and that pigeon peas in the middle, that helps um, support nitrogen to the roots. And then all underneath that, which I just harvested yesterday, was all root crop, which was sweet potato. And these chickens helped me fertilize. And then this bunch of bananas is about to go just shows you, you know, you take some time and energy and then the land produces for you. The land's going to give you an abundance. So as far as our situation in Hawaii, we have a choice to ask, what's in our food? Where is it coming from? If you have the opportunity to support local organic farmers, they need all the support they can get. And once the attention starts going more towards the fact that organic food is enriching our lives and really bringing out the highest potential not only in the land but in the people, then we'll realize we don't need these big name corporations to be mass producing food like corn, soybeans, canola, and all this stuff that's in so much food and is taking over the seeds. Look into what you're eating. Know what it's about, know where it's coming from, and know who is part of the forward progression. Keep planting your food. Don't use pesticides. Stay away from GMOs. Truly ask yourself, are you part of the solution? Let's move forward. Gotta respect the land. Yeah, it's true organic food production, yeah.